Now, last lesson, we looked at how to shift the sine wave so that it moved off of the lookup table grid and create a bit of a jump between getting brighter and darker. This lesson is lesson seven, mix it up. One let alone can't get us dancing, you'll create a mix of colour with three LEDs to liven up the party. Now there's three components that we need to change. Essentially, we've got the motor driver component, or the pulse width modulation component. We've got the counter component, and the lookup table, which is all working together as one to get our value from 239 and receive a duty cycle up to 255. And then we've got a third component here, which is actually adjusting our duty value so that it's going to light up the LED with that shift of the sign value. Now we need to replicate, we'll copy and paste one of the motors. Now what you have to realize is that you don't actually need three cycle tools, you only need the one cycle tool. And instead of linking into the, the top motor, we'll link into the bottom and just go through the other two. So that still gives us our loop. It still counts 1,000 times before it goes and does the lookup table to get our duty value. So we'll line those up vertically and distribute them. And we'll go and change their settings. We want to have red and blue. So first of all, we'll look at the green one to see our settings. So speed, we were using pin G5, and we were getting it from a register called GT. Well, we're going to call that GT1. Now, similarly, we'll take the red motor speed tool. We'll choose G4 for our red pin, and we'll use a new register, and we'll call it GT2. And blue, we'll do the same again on pin G2, and we'll create another register, and we'll call it GT3. Okay, so that's our motor component done. Now we're going to leave the counter, we only need one counter, and that's going to give us our sine wave value. And that's going to store it in duty. Well, actually, we've got three of those now. So we want to store in three duties, GD1, GD2, GD3. So we'll just uh, cut Control x Control v to paste this one, just to move it out of the way for the moment. And we're going to copy and paste Control c Control v on our file tool. Paste a couple of those in. And we can leave it from the W register, putting the W register in GD1, GD2, and GD3. And we'll just go and make sure that we're selecting the correct register. There's GD2 and GD3. So linking those up. That's our lookup tool, uh, catered for to get our three values for GT. We'll just line those up and distribute them. Now we want three counters. So GT1, GT2, and GT3. We'll copy and paste those. Control C, Control V. We'll change their settings. So GT2, we're going to add on uh, 100, say, for this one, increment by 100, and we'll make sure it goes into the GD2 register, and GD3, we'll update that one to 150 increments, make sure you do the increment by 150, choose GD3, and we should be able to link that up now, and program. Just move this one, just to make it look a bit neater. 
We'll align these, actually. I'll align those vertically first. And I could align these ones vertically. Uh, select these ones, horizontal, alignment and distribution. So there we have it, let's program. Okay, so you can see we've got a bit of a flicker happening there. Green and red are working correct. There might be something that I've done wrong with the blue. So we'll just have a look, make sure blue is coming off duty three, it is. Let's make sure W is updating to GT3. Ah, there we go. So that should be on GT3 for the W register. Program again. There we have it. So blue is flicking away as well at different times. Red and green. So you can stick with those values, or you can change some of these values if you want. I'm going to move the red up to 127, and change that, and I'll move the blue up to 180, just for a slightly different effect that's not symmetrical in how it flickers. Okay, so we've got that. Look, if you want to see it a bit faster, we can just go and change this cycle tool back to, say, 500. 500. And that just means it's going to do 500 cycles of the motor tools before it goes and updates each of the counters. So we, we should be doing it effectively twice as fast. So, that's lesson seven, mix it up. Thanks for watching.